Greetings to all of our partners across America and around the world. Our topic today is joy is a choice. The Bible says in John 16, 22, Therefore, you now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. Jesus was saying, joy overcomes sorrow. I'm not talking about clinical depression, the medical condition. I'm talking about less than happy, the blues, the blahs that never seem to end. Many of you experience that from time to time. Almost everyone has been less than happy at some point in their lives, and great spiritual men and women are no exception. Consider Moses. After leading the children of Israel out of captivity, he went up to Mount Sinai and spoke to the Lord face to face. He had been gone for 40 days in the presence of God. His face was aglow with the Shekinah glory. It was one of the most powerful transformative experiences of his life or any man who ever lived. He was on that proverbial cloud nine. However, when he came down off that mountain, he discovered that the children of Israel had come up with a new theology. It was the golden calf theology, and they were worshiping idols. Moses went from perfect peace to rage in a matter of seconds. He was so distraught that he threw down the Ten Commandments and broke them at the base of the mountain. But Moses wasn't the only man of God that ever had a bad day. Job also was greatly depressed, so depressed that he, quote, cursed the day of his birth. Job chapter 3, verse 1. Elijah also came down with a case of the blues, making him feel like he was the only one left in Israel who still believed in and followed God. Kings 19.10. The blues aren't just limited to great men of the Bible. Sir Winston Churchill, the man who saved Western civilization in World War II, suffered from deep depression. He described it as, quote, a black dog, end of quote, from which he could not escape. Charles Haddon Spurgeon, the Prince of Preachers, was preaching in his church in London, England, when a mentally ill person stood up and screamed, Fire! fire, and several people were trampled to death trying to escape this false alarm. It literally broke the heart and the mind of that world-renowned preacher. Despite being a man of God, he was not immune to being crushed by a heartache. The deacons of Spurgeon's church took him to the home of the head deacon, and they prayed for him around the clock for several weeks, until his mind and his spirit were completely healed. The peace of God that surpasses understanding restored him. After that, his sermons were carried around the world. He is now known as the Prince of Preachers. The fact is, everyone from time to time gets depressed. But it's staying depressed that's the issue. Staying in the blahs of life is a decision, but so is choosing joy. Joy is a decision. It's a decision to discipline your thought life. It's a a decision to abandon the whiny, self-piteous, thumb-sucking things you're going through that make you feel like Elijah, misunderstood and alone. Make the decision to give God total control of your life. Make the decision to give God total control of your marriage or of your children or of your job and trust that everything is going to be all right. Listen to me. Joy is a decision. The Bible says in John 15, 11, These things have I spoken to you that your joy may be full. John 16, 2 writes, Jesus said, Surely I say unto you, your sorrow shall be turned to joy full of glory. Beloved saints of God, in your darkest hour, 
Do not be driven by your fear, but be led by the joy that's unspeakable that God gives in the worst of times. That's God's word for this week. I'll see you Sunday morning live over the internet at 8.30 or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or our website at Hagee Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.